Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to share with you my suggested word solution for question 16 for Math PSRE 2021 Paper 2. This is the exam smart strategy that I adopt. I believe you are very familiar with this. This is a question that I'm going to share with you. It's on area and perimeter of circles. Okay, I'm going to do part A now. Let's read and annotate. Now we have a small circle with center O. It has been cut from a circular piece of cardboard with the same center. The radius of the small circle is 8 cm. I'm going to annotate. Meaning, this is 8 cm. Now, we are not told the radius of the big circle. Okay, so we are told the radius of the small circle is 8 cm, which I use small r to represent. We are not told what is the radius of the big circle, which we, we, we will be finding very soon. Now, to find the radius of the big circle in figure 1, we have to use figure 2 to help us because we are only pro being provided the line 42 cm. Okay, so what is 42 cm to us? 42 cm is actually made up of many lines. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to dissect the figure vertically perpendicular to the 42. So this is important because it helps me to get the radius of the big circle. Okay, I'm done. All right. Okay, now we know that this is part of the small circle. All right? So is this and this and this. So the purple one belongs to the small circle and it, the, the, the radius of the small circle is 8. So this is 8. This is 8. This is 8 and the, this is 8. Then what is in between? Ah, this one. I call it one unit. So the one unit is actually the gap between the two circles, the shaded gap. All right? So I highlighted it in red. Okay, so what does it mean? That means 42 is made up of four groups of eight and two one units. Meaning, 42 cm is actually 32 cm plus 2 units. So, 2 units must be 42 cm minus 32 cm. That gives us 10 cm. So, 1 unit must be 10 divided by 2. That is 5 cm. So, this is 5 cm. And this is 5 cm. So what is 5 cm to us? 5 cm is actually here and here. So this is 5 cm. So if 5 cm is the gap between the big circle and the small circle, then the radius of the big circle must be 8 plus 5. That gives me 13. So it's the cm okay all right so we need to know the radius of the big circle 13 cm in order to solve part a so i'm going to start my part a now so part a is asking us to find the area of the new shape now the area of the new shape right is uh, quite complicated if we use figure 2 to do so so to do part a uh, i choose to go back to figure 1 because figure 2 the new shape came from figure 1. So if I use figure 1 to do my figure 2, I put all those uh, different shapes, you know, the different sizes back into their original state, I should get two rings. So if I take 
the area of the big circle area of the big circle minus the area of the small circle I have already gotten the answer for part A already okay let's solve so let's find the area of the big circle so the area of the big circle is simply 3.14 that's pi times 13 cm times 13 cm so pi times 13 times 13 will give me 530.66 so let me write down 530.66 square cm let's do the same thing for the small circle 3.14 times 8 times 8 that will give me 200.96 200.96 square cm so if I'm Take these two areas, find the difference. That is already my part A answer. Okay, so part A is found. The difference in area, difference in area is minus them, and I have gotten 329.7. 329.7. Part A is found. Okay, now I can move on to part B in my new slide. Now, part B is asking us to find the perimeter of the new shape. Perimeter of the new shape means I have to add this. Okay, I'm going to use two colors. The red one represents, okay, this one, uh, which is involving the radius 8 cm so those involving radius 8 cm i'm using the one that is in red so this one i must find the 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 red lines the red curves then that one the one that is involving the big radius 3 uh, 13 cm i'm going to indicate with purple so i need to find this line find this line find this and find this so indirectly, yeah, we are actually finding the circumference of the big circle, the circumference of the small circle, okay? And don't forget to add the two straight line, 5 cm and 5 cm. Very important. So part B is actually done. To find the perimeter of the new shape, we just need to find the circumference of the big circle, and the circumference of the small circle okay let's do it now so circumference of the big circle is pi times 2 times r so my pi is same times 2 and my r is 13 okay so that will give me 81.64 cm so 81.64 cm. Okay, now I'm going to find circumference of my small circle. That will be 3.14 times 2 times 8 cm. And it gives me 50.24. Yeah. okay so uh, we have this value important this value important okay so the total perimeter will be 81.64 circumference of the big circle at the circumference of the small circle 50.24 and don't forget to add the two straight line this and this so if you add the four things together 81.64 plus 50.24 plus 5 plus 5 it gives us 141.88 cm 
the end. All right, but B is done. So feel free to watch my video again. In my next video, in my next video, I'm going to talk about question 17. Okay. Remember to like my video, share, and subscribe to future videos being posted. Alright, thank you for watching and take care. Goodbye.